NFL, country music concerts, hard rock, hip hop, theater, Broadway. He's got them all. And if he don't have them, there ain't none. I'm telling you, smoothtickets.com. Once again, that's smoothtickets.com or give them a call at 404-374-1150. Once again, that's 404-374-1150. You got to tell them, though, that I sent you. You got to tell them that Doug Stewart sent you. Once again, smoothtickets.com. That's smoothtickets.com. Yeah! The Sleeper Pick, the guy only you believe in. In one week fantasy football on DraftKings, he can be the difference. So trust your gut. Trust your numbers. Trust your Uncle Vito if you want. But know this, that sleeper is out there. The question is, who's going to play him? This is DraftKings. Welcome to the big time. To create your account, click on the banner link on the DougStewartShow.com or the Doug Stewart Show app. Freaky Funny Football Friday, man. Appreciate you joining your folk for the realest, trillest sports and guy talk show in America. Yeah. Yeah. We got the uh, NFL Funky Four coming up here in a minute, in hour number two, so stay tuned for that. Birthdays, entertainment talk. We'll laugh something about, uh, some about the great Ric Flair. Make sure you stay tuned to that story. Not really laugh. A story really isn't a laughing type of thing, but trust me, you'll uh, you'll find it very interesting when we get into it. But right now, man, it's that funky fall. Yes, sir. The four biggest games in college football this weekend. So says me. Now, I got to be honest with you, uh, the games this week are kind of suspect. You know, if there were some better matchups, uh, I'd be more excited. But here's the four that I think are kind of interesting for various uh, reasons. How about Indiana? <laughs> I'm going to talk about a couple of teams that I probably never talked about before in my life. I know. How about Indiana taking on Michigan at the big house? Uh, 3.30 p.m. kickoff time. On ESPN this Saturday, uh, Wilton Spite, who broke his left collarbone and is done for the season, uh, will not play for Michigan at quarterback this coming weekend. There were a lot of questions about exactly if he was going to play or um, not going to play. So he's not injured for the year, but he's definitely not going to play this weekend. They're saying the quarterback for Michigan. So another state's Michigan sophomore quarterback, uh, is week to week. As for Coach Jim Harbaugh, he says the star signal call is questionable for the number four Wolverines. 
Uh, probably not going to play, though. Reports are saying he suffered the injury during the fourth quarter of last Saturday's 14-13 loss to Iowa. And news started to circulate about it. So, for Michigan this weekend against Indiana, who hadn't, who didn't really suck this year, and I'll talk more about that in a second, junior quarterback John O'Corn, who's a transfer from Houston, is going to get the start for Michigan. O'Corn passed for 3,000. 117 yards and 28 touchdowns against 10 interceptions as a freshman in 2013. He lost the starting gig at Houston the following season when he passed for 951 yards and six touchdowns against eight interceptions. Um, Indiana is 5-5, five and five, which is probably a great year for Indiana. They have the big win early in the year over Michigan State where they beat them 24-21. to 21. Michigan State, though, we find out isn't that great of a team. But... You know, we're basically keeping an eye on this game because Michigan is the number three team in the country. They're favored by 24 points, but Indiana is trying to play the spoiler. So that's game number four on your Funky Four. Indiana taking on Michigan. How about game number three in your Funky Four? The four biggest games in college football this weekend. The Clemson Tigers on the road taking on Wake Forest, 7 p.m. Eastern time. You can actually watch this one live on ESPN. Uh, the Tigers, 9-1, 6-1 in the ACC, who dropped the number four in the college football playoffs only. Um, and number five in the AP poll after they lost last week um, to Pittsburgh, is going to take on unranked Wake Forest, who's 6-4 and 3-3 and three and three in the ACC. Went for the Tigers in the ACC finale uh, to beat Telegas once again on ESPN. Will clinch the Atlantic Division title and put them in ACC championship game against Virginia Tech or North Carolina from the Coastal Division. The Tigers finished the regular season at home with the in-state rivalry against the South Carolina Gamecocks. So game number three in your funky four biggest games this weekend is Clemson versus Wake Forest. How about this? And I'm sure this is a first for your boy. I'm kind of looking forward to Washington State taking on Colorado. I know. I know when you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Yeah, Colorado taking on Washington State. When Washington State plays Colorado on Saturday, it will be the battle of the Pac-12 division leaders. Nobody in the world saw this coming. The 12th-ranked Buffaloes, who were the bomb squad back in the day in the early 90s, are the most surprising team in the country, considering they were picked to finish last in the Pac-12 South in a vote of league media and had only five conference victories in their first five seasons in the league. That's right. Colorado used to be in the Big 12 back in the day, if you remember, uh, when they won their national championship or, or Cole won their national championship, I believe, in 1990 with Georgia Tech. So now they've been in the uh, Pac-12 for like six years now. So Washington State, 8-2, 7-0, opened the season with a home loss to lower division Eastern Washington, and then they lost to Boise State. But since then, They've won eight games in a row. Washington State junior quarterback Luke Falk is second nationally with 361 yards passing. And you know who's their head coach, right? The great Mike Leach, the Mad Hatter coach. Yeah. Luke Falk is second nationally once again with 361 yards passing last week. He set a school record with his 23rd career 300-yard game. What? This man has had 23 300-yard games. I kind of like games like this because it's interesting. We obviously don't watch a lot of Pac-12 football, but when the teams are good and I really haven't paid attention to them before, I like checking out games like this. So you got two teams, Washington State and Colorado, going down this weekend. That's game number two in my uh, – and my funky four biggest games in college football this weekend. And you're still listening to the Doug Stewart Show. And lastly, the number one game in my funky four this weekend in college football. Once again, I had to reach for a lot of these games. But Oklahoma, the number nine Oklahoma Sooners taking on the number 14 West Virginia Mountaineers. Samaji Perrine ran for 242 yards and four touchdowns in Oklahoma's last game in Morgantown. His first career game with 100 or more yards on the ground. And tailback Joe Mixon is averaging 6.787 yards per carry during his career. Um, The most in the Bob Stoops era among players with 100 or more carries. 
The Mountaineers average about 211 yards on the ground, while Oklahoma surrenders an average of 132. Last week, the Sooners struggled to slow down Baylor's rushing attack early, surrendering 212 yards on the Bears. Uh, West Virginia, a couple of decent wins this year, man, and only one loss. Once again, they're 8-1. and They had the one loss in October, the end of October, to Oklahoma State and Oklahoma. Uh, you know what happened to them. They lost to Houston early in the year, the first game of the season, 33-23. to But outside of that, they've been uh, kicking ass. They did have the one let down to Ohio State as well. So they're 8-2 and two on the season. So the Big 12 Conference right now, the number one Oklahoma Sooners taking on the third-ranked team in the conference, West Virginia. And there you have it, the funky four biggest games in college football, Shorty. Yeah. Kind of, sort of. <laughs> kind of, sort of. You remember that first week of the season this year, man? They had all of those big matchups. Uh, this weekend, not so much. But we did what we could with it. We did the best we could do with it. All right, there you have it, the Funky Four. In hour number two, we got the Funky Four NFL games that I'm most interested in. We'll get into that. Yeah. Yeah, let me read some messages before we jump to a chat, uh, to the uh, to the break. But let me read some messages from the chat room. Good morning, Denise Milken Cookies. Praise his holy name. Good Lord, that's a big old ditty. Uh, Denise Milken Cookies, good morning. Uh, she just said good morning, uh, Grego. And I just notice her uh, tatas. Shut up. They right there in your face. Good morning, Tiffany Poodle in Portland. Good morning. <laughs> Tiffany Poodle in Portland says, well, me and my 36 Triple Ds tried to do our part. We'll let you take the reins now, Denise. Yes, sir. 36 triple D's. Good Lord. Y'all need to do a photo shoot together. Hey, I love the ladies of TDSS, man. Shouts out to the ladies of TDSS. Uh, they're well endowed. The great Tiffany Poole in Portland. Hey, Tiffany Poole in Portland. Denise Milk and Cookies. If you're new to the Doug Stewart Show, do yourself a favor. All right? Jump into the chat room. And just introduce yourself. If you've never done it before, if you're a long-time listener, two things I need you to do. First, I need you to, to join the Doug Stewart Show Facebook chat group, okay, so you can stay abreast of everything we're doing. That's kind of the way, the, the, the place we do it at. And secondly, jump into the chat room. I said it at the top of the show. We got the best chat room in the world. And the ladies that listen to Doug Stewart Show, eye candy. They got pictures posted of themselves. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thorny Switch. Tiffany Poodle in Portland. Uh, Tiffany Sports and Heels. Denise Milk and Cookies. You know, cre create your little account. You know, put up a profile pic. Uh, let the ladies uh, or let the fellas see what you're working with. And uh, jump in the chat room, man, and talk a little bit of sports and entertainment with your boys. We love the ladies. I mean, listen. Listen now. If you're new to the Doug Stewart Show, what other show, what other network have you ever heard that gives a whole day to the ladies? We call it Woman Wednesday. It's not a sham. Shut up. Shut up. It's not a sham. Hour number two of the Doug Stewart Show coming up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is ID like? Well, over the last 18 years, a group of scientists and doctors have been working on the development of a one-of-a-kind nutritional supplement program that takes all the guesswork out of what you need and delivers your truly personalized pharmaceutical-grade nutrition with your name on it directly to your door. 
through the integration of thousands of medical and scientific studies, answers you provide to the free assessment and more than 5,470 algorithms.